hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you how to make super delicious egg curry with green peas it's a very easy and simple recipe but super delicious to eat especially with boiled rice and delicious with roti chapati as well for this recipe i have taken six eggs boiled them and peeled them off I think there's no need to show how to boil eggs so I skipped that portion and here I have taken one bowl of green peas I kept them in the freezer so now they are frozen you may take the fresh one as you wish and here I have taken three medium sized tomatoes finely chopped but two tomatoes are enough for this recipe three medium sized onions finely chopped and 1 tablespoon full of crushed ginger garlic you may take the paste there's no problem along with all these we need some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped and i'll chop them later at first i'm going to prepare the eggs so i'm putting some cut on it like this but it's fully optional as you like if you don't like you can skip it there's no problem and after that you may fry the eggs if you like but actually i'm skipping it because i don't have a non stick pan and the eggs may break while frying in this pan so i'm skipping that process also and now i'm adding some cooking oil in the pan and after the oil is heated well i'm adding some tadka half teaspoon of cumin seeds and 2 to 3 bay leaves and a pinch of asafoetida After the cumin seeds are crackled well we need to add the onions in the pan so it's done i'm adding the onions in the pan after adding onions the heat should be on medium and uh, we have to fry them until a light brown color and now the color has started to be brown so now i'm adding the paste of ginger garlic it's actually crushed ginger garlic but you may take the paste there's no problem After the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone we need to add the tomatoes in the pan so i'm adding them after adding tomatoes we need to add some salt according to taste and after that we need to add some powdered spices i have added 1 uh, and 1/2 teaspoons of salt and now i'm adding 1/2 teaspoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of coriander powder red chili powder according to taste and now i'm adding 1 teaspoon of kanda lasun masala it's a maharashtrian spices mixture if you don't have it then skip it there's no problem and now 1/2 teaspoon of paprika powder that means kashmiri lal mirch powder for brighter color and 1/2 teaspoon of garam masala we need to mix everything well and after that we need to cover and cook but before covering the pan we need to add the green peas so i'm adding them after mixing well again i'm going to cover the pan and the heat should be on medium to low now in between we need to uncover the pan and stir it nicely and after about 5 to 6 minutes oil is released from the spices mixture as you can see and the tomatoes are nicely soft now so now we need to add some water for gravy add the water quantity according to your choice how thick or thin you want your gravy to be some more water is needed for me so after adding water we need to cover the pan for some time on high heat until it starts to boil and after about 2 minutes it has started to boil very nicely so i'm adding the eggs now i'm adding all the eggs and after that we need to cover the pan again on medium heat until the green peas are cooked 100% and the gravy consistency is according to our choice so after about 10 minutes the green peas are cooked very well now so for garnishing i'm adding two sliced green chilies and some fresh coriander leaves and 1/4 teaspoon of sugar this quantity of sugar will balance all the taste of the curry After adding coriander leaves we need to boil the curry for another 1 minute on medium heat and after that our curry is ready let's turn the heat off and serve the curry hot so guys it's super delicious to eat especially with boiled rice and roti chapati as well so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video